So guys, no, Camille, Cheryl, and Rialyn, the good news is this. Lahat ng mga members, partner companies ni IMG, each of them, they offer a specific program that will fit our need. Now, if we want to address right away the three major financial needs, meron tayong mga investment companies na partner. Meron din tayong healthcare company na partner. Meron din tayong life insurance company na partner. So immediately, right away, we can address the three major financial needs. So let's take a look at each of these programs. If you, if it's okay with you, uh, uh, Camille, Cheryl, and Rialyn. Okay lang ba sa inyo? If I can discuss a little bit more about this tatlong program. Okay lang ba? Okay, thank you. Sige. Can I, I add po si Mary Grace? Mary Grace? <laughs> ah, si Mary Grace? Yes? Okay. Hi! Okay, so apat na. Okay, si oh. Mary Grace. Okay, good. Very good. And then, so I'll share a bit about first the investment side. Okay? So, yung first, the first uh, program na isi-share ko sa inyo guys is itong mutual fund. Ang mutual fund is parang nag-invest ka, parang nag-save ka sa time deposit, parang ganun sa banko. However, yung mutual fund kasi nasa batas rin. Naisa batas sa 1960 Republic Act 2629 Investment Company Act encouraging Filipinos to invest and save in a mutual fund. Kaso, hindi tinuro, hindi tinuturo sa school. Walang nagturo since 1960 until 1990s. Dumating si IMG at tinuturo natin sa marami. That's why even until now, palagi tayong nagtuturo about mutual funds rin sa mga classes natin, regular classes natin. So yung mutual funds, para kang again, naglagay ng pera sa isang time deposit account. However, yung pera natin sa mutual funds, binibili yan ng mga shares ng mga malaking company. So meaning to say, pwede ko bang sabihin na ako ay isang shareholder ni Jollibee. Yes, kung nag-i-invest ka sa mutual fund. Pwede ko bang sabihin na ako ay isang shareholder ni SM? The answer is yes, kung nag-i-invest ako sa mutual fund. So, ibig sabihin pala, hindi lang ako kakain sa, sa Jollibee, kain ng kain, order ng order. The good news is this, magiging part owner ka rin. Even small part owner, at least part owner. Di ba? Same thing sa SM. Parehas lang sa SM. Hindi lang na pupunta tayo sa SM, nagpapalamig tayo, may binibili tayo doon. Hindi lang ganon. Pwede tayo maging part owner kahit small part owner ka ng SM. So pagpunta natin sa SM, sa entrance pa lang, di ba? Chicheck upin ka ng guard. Right? Chicheck upin ka ng guard. And then yung guard sabi sa'yo, Okay ma'am, temperature, ganyan, ganito, uh, face mask, face shield, ganyan. And tanungin mo yung guard. Guard, kumusta yung business natin dyan? Ah, di ba? Kumusta yung tindahan natin? Kasi pwedeng ganon kasi part owner ka ng SM. <laughs> Pero actually, yung guard hindi rin niya alam. Kasi baka isipin niya, baka na, na ano yung, na, yung isipan nito kasi tinatanong kung kumusta yung business natin. Kasi yung kilala ng guard, si Henry Silang talaga yung may-ari ng SM. Di ba? Si Henry Silang, tsaka yung pamilya na, tsaka yung anak niya. Pero, to, through sa mutual funds, pwede yun mangyari kasi maging investor ka ng SM. Same thing with the banks. no? Kasi nakikita natin dyan, may banko, may BPI, may BDO. Dalawang klase yan eh. Either nagde-deposit ka sa BDO, so ayan tawag sa'yo, depositor. Pero kung investor ka sa BDO, maging part owner ka sa BDO, then investor ka, hindi ka depositor. So sa mutual fund, magiging investor tayo sa mutual fund. Okay? Sige. So iba yun, depositor ka. Pag, pag nagsisave ka, nag-open ka ng bank account. Pero kung gusto mo maging part owner, investor ka. Idadaan mo sa mutual fund. Okay? So ito yung experience ko sa mutual fund. Since uh, more than 15 years ago, nagsisave na po ako sa mutual fund. And so far, so good. Meaning to say, pag sinabing may savings, yes, meron na. Dahil sa IMG. 
Kasi kung hindi ko na tagpuan si IMG, hindi ko na meet si IMG, siguro ngayon wala pang savings. Kung meron man, maliit pa yung savings. Kasi hindi ko manalaman talaga ano yung mga option on how to save money. Okay? So yan po yung mutual fund. Okay? So sa mutual fund, ganito yung nangyayari. Yung mutual fund company, sila yung nag i sa SM, San Miguel, and Jollibee. Kasi SMC, San Miguel yan. G Jollibee, JFC. Sila yung nag i So kung naglagay ka ng pera sa mutual fund, then yung pera mo na-invest na rin sa SM, San Miguel, Jollibee. So tumubo na yung pera mo 8 to 12% last year. Kung last year ka nag-invest. Every year, 8 to 12% talagang yung average uh, interest ng mutual fund. Hindi yan masyadong malaki. Hindi rin masyadong maliit. Tamang-tama lang. Sakto lang. Okay? Yan po yung mutual fund. So para kang nagsisave ka sa time deposit, mutual fund na lang. And the good news is this, guys. No, I like to share to you. Si SSS, di ba? Alam natin, kilala natin si SSS, di ba? Si SSS, nag, ano tayo, contribute tayo sa SSS. Pero si SSS, binibigay niya yung pera sa mutual funds. So mutual funds, sila yung nagmamanage sa pera ni SSS. So pwede pala, naglagay tayo ng pera kung saan naglagay si SSS. You can invest where SSS invest. Kung saan nag-invest si SSS, pwede ka rin mag-invest doon. Eh, sa mutual fund. Kahit si SSS nga, nag-invest. Tayo pa, pa kaya. So, pwede tayong mag-invest. As low as 1,000 pesos, anyone can open and start investing sa mutual fund. So, yan po yung good news dyan. Okay? So, and then, let me share to you guys, kasi dito sa IMG, yung focus talaga natin, financial education and financial planning. And, sa financial planning kasi, very important. Kailangan magkaroon ng goal. Kasi financial planning, kailangan magkaroon ng goal. And let us say, we call it retirement yaman goal. Di ba? Kasi gusto natin maging secure yung future natin. Di ba? I have never uh, uh, met, you know, uh, uh, Grace, uh, uh, Cheryl, Camille, and Rialin. I have never met someone na sinabi sa akin, Jess, gusto ko Tatanda ako na maghihirap ako. Wal walang ganun eh. I want just to grow old and I will struggle financially. Walang ganun. I never met a person na ganun yung sabi sa akin na, Jess, I want to struggle financially by the time I grow old. Walang ganun. Lahat tayo gusto natin financial security. Gusto natin peace of mind financially. So, ito yung kailangan ng marami na pwede nating ituro sa kanila itong financial planning. Simple financial planning. Gawin natin itong goal, let's say, 1 million pesos savings 20 years from now. Okay? Example lang. This is just an example. Okay? Gawin natin goal, 1 million savings 20 years from now. Ano yung option 1? Sabi dyan, mag-save ka lang ng 50,000 every year. And gawin natin every year for the next 20 years. After 20 years, kakaroon tayo ng 1 million. Totoo yan kasi pag ina-add mo yung lahat na 50,000 times 20, 1 million yun. No? So, I'm to say, kahit, kahit walang interest, walang tubo, ganyan, kahit ikaw lang yung nag, uh, nagtatabi ng pera, magiging milyonaryo ka kung nagsisave ka ng 50,000 every year. So, ma-achieve ma natin yung goal natin pag continuous tayong nagsisave 50,000 every year for the next 20 years. Option 1 yan. Option 2, ganito. Pag nasa IMG na kasi tayo, malalaman natin yung option 2. Ano yung option 2 po? Ganito. 50,000 every year for the next 10 years. So from year 1 up to year 10, 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. Pero from year 11 up to year 20, hindi na tayo nagsisave. Ano lang yung ginagawa natin? Naghihintay. Kasi after year 20, nandoon yung 1 million savings. Jess, paano yan nangyari? Paano yan na option 1, 50,000 every year yon for the next 20 years? Eh option 2, 10 years lang. Bakit naging 1 million after 20 years? Nang dahil sa isang programa which is mutual fund. Uh, yan po yung power ng mutual fund. Even if 10 years ka lang nagsisave, hintayin mo na lang from year 11 to year 20, tumutubo yung pera at may interest, 
magiging mahihit mo pa rin yung, uh, yung goal mo na 1 million. Yan po yung option 1. How about op uh, option 2? Sorry. How about option 3? Ito. Instead of 50,000, 60,000. And yung 60,000, every year yun sinisave. Pero, instead of 10 years, 7 years lang. So, from year 1 up to year 7, nagsisave tayo ng 60,000. From year 8 up to year 20, no need to save anymore. After year 20, magkaroon pa rin ng 1 million savings. So, madalas, pag tinatanong natin, ano yung best option? Yung madalas sagot ng mga tao, yung pinaka-practical and best option is option 3. Di ba? Option 3. So, ano talaga yung option 2? Bakit ito nangyayari? Why is it possible na magkaroon ng savings 20 years after kahit 10 years lang ako nagsisave? Dahil sa mutual fund. Pero option 3, why is it possible na 7 years lang ako nagsisave pero meron pa lang 1 million savings after 20 years? Dahil sa 4-in-1 savings. So ano po yung 4-in-1 savings? Ito po yung Kaiser. Ito po yung programa ni Kaiser na naging endorser si Ati Shawi. <laughs> naging endorser si si Megastar no sa ano sa Kaiser and si Kaiser siya yung gumawa ng 4 in 1 savings 4 in 1 package bakit 4 in 1 po kasi may mutual funds na may life insurance na may healthcare na rin at may burial and repatriation so one program pero four benefits yan po mas maganda kasi sulit and the good news is this it's a savings program. Meaning to say, kung, nag, kung mag-save ka naman lang, at least mag-save ka na lang din for retirement, for healthcare, for life insurance, for the future. So, sulit itong program na ito kasi it's four in one. So, this is how it works po. Pakita ko sa inyo, guys, ha, how it works, no? So, let us say, sample age dito is age 22. Guys, by the way, how young are you? How young are you guys? Uh, she, Camille, Realine, and Grace. How young are you? 23 si, ka, si, si, si Realine. 29 si Realine. Si na, 29 Cheryl. Si, Realine, si Cheryl is 23. 29. 29. Si Camille, 25. Correct ba? Okay. And 28 si Cheryl. Realine. Si Realine. Realine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, this is just an example. 22. Throwback. Throwback. <laughs> diba? Throwback Wednesday. 22. Okay? So, let's say, nag-start tayo 22. Okay? And then, nagsisave. Let's say, gawin natin yung option 3. Just an example. Gawin natin, ano yung option 3? Let's say, almost 60,000 yung savings. Sa Kaiser kasi, there's also around 59,000. Malapit na sa 60. Pwede there's a lower savings, there's a higher savings as well. Lower bracket, there's also higher bracket. This is just an example, okay? So, after 7 years, makakatanggap ka ng Kaiser Certificate of Full Payment. After 7 years, oh, Certificate of Full Payment, proof yan na tapos ka na sa 7 years, okay? And then, but starting from year 1 onwards, Gradually, tumutubo na yan, nag interest na yan, 10% every year. Kasi savings yan. Okay? Savings po. So, kailan? Kailan ko pwedeng gamitin, Jess? May nagtanong, kailan ko pwedeng gamitin, Jess? O kailan ko pwedeng, kailan ako pwedeng mag-retire? Most Filipinos gustong mag-retire age 60. At age 60, tatanggap ka ng 6.4 million. Age 60 yan. Lump sum, pwede. Jess, what if hindi ko kunin lahat? Pwedeng magpension lang ako? Pwede rin, 10% every year. Ano yung 10% ng 6.4? 640,000 or more than 50,000 every month. Jess, anong nangyari sa 6.4? Nandyan lang yan. Lifetime yan kasi healthcare budget yan para sa'yo in case magkakasakit, merong 6.4 million while o habang tumatanggap ka ng pension every year, 10%. Ah, okay, ganun ba? Jess, malaki ba yan? Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure kung malaki ba yung 6.4 kasi this is age 60. And how many years yan? 40 years. 
or 20 years kasi from age 22 to age 60 almost 40 years i'm not sure if malaki pa ba yung 6 million 20 years 30 years from now di ba pero yung importante is this no hospital would say no to you in case magpa-check up in case magpa-hospital because there is a healthcare budget so kasi yung mga hospital ngayon hindi sila magpapasok ng pasyente pag walang down payment yan po yung hospitals ngayon right and by the time you grow old, we grow old and nagkakasakit tayo, saan tayo pupunta? No? Eh, kasi pag walang down payment, hindi pa pasukin. Kung papasukin man sa hospital, sa emergen hanggang emergency room lang, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-check in sa, sa talagang kumuha ng room pag walang down payment. So this program can really help many families out there. At least magkaroon ng peace of mind. Now, Jess, anong pwedeng other option. Yung other option is early retirement, 20 years after. So ito na yung sinasabi natin na re retirement yaman goal. 20 years after, pwede palang mag-withdraw, mag-redeem, or kunin lahat, lamsam. Kasi pwede na tayong mag-retire din 20 years kung gusto natin. Let's say magkaroon tayo ng 1 million savings. Kagaya talaga ng retirement yaman goal natin, di ba? So ano yung posibleng gamitin, gamitan ng 1 million? Halimbawa, we have children. So magka-college na yung anak, pwedeng gamitin yan. Example, we have a loved one or relative na nagkakasakit. Pwedeng gamitin yan, ibigay part or mag-donate ka. Or what if tayo yung nagkakasakit, gamitin yan kasi healthcare yan. Diba? And may nagtanong, Jess, um, malaki ba yung 1 million pesos? Uh, the answer is I'm not sure. Kasi 20 years from now yan eh. In fact, ngayon, Yung 1 million, yung 1 million, heart bypass lang yun. Yung 1 million today is just heart bypass. So, 1 million 20 years from now, I'm not sure kung kasha ba. No? Kasha ba yung 1 million. Pero yung good news is this, at least may savings ka. At least may savings tayo. Secure yung future. So, ito yung again, 4 in 1. 4 in 1 na naging plus 1. <laughs> 4 in 1 na naging plus 1. Bakit naging plus 1? Sabi mo just 4 in 1. Bakit 4 in 1? Lifetime healthcare po. Okay? Pagpunta natin sa private hospital, nakapasok na tayo sa private hospital without down payment, without deposit, kasi may healthcare ka na. And then, pangalawa, investment, retirement. Okay? Number 3, life insurance, 20 years. Within 20 years, covered tayo ng life insurance. Number four, burial and funeral. Hindi na kailangan bibili ng St. Peter kasi may burial and funeral benefits ka na sa Kaiser. Okay? And number five, this is a bonus and optional benefit. Optional benefit magkaroon ng critical illness. Ano yung critical illness? What if gusto natin magkaroon ng additional budget in case magkaro magkaroon ng mga hospital tayo, magkakasakit ng critical, may magbibigay ng additional budget additional funding. So optional lang yan yung critical illness. So ano yung mga option ng critical illness? Pwedeng additional 100,000 benefit hospitalization in case critical. Ano yung mga sakit na pwedeng tawagin critical? Yung mga heart illness, yung stroke, uh, kasi yung stroke sa ano yun eh, sa utak yun eh. Yung heart yung yung heart attack of course sa heart yun. Pero yung parang heart attack sa utak, stroke yun. And then Cancer, yung mga ganon, yung mga related sa diabetes, yung mga ganon, critical. So this, this program can help uh, 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 the, the funding, no? can help uh, in terms of paying for that cost. May 500,000, may 750,000, may 1 million din. This is on top of the basic healthcare benefit na nakukuha natin sa program. So this is optional lang din. Uh, so, depende sa need talaga ng tao. Additional cost, pero optional. Additional cost na optional. Okay? So, additional programs din ng Kaiser. Kung gusto natin, optional. I-ride on natin. Idagdag natin. May family care. Kung gusto natin, makabar din yung mga anak or yung asawa. And then, may senior care. Gusto natin, makabar yung parents. May senior care. Especially, mga senior citizen. Wala nang health care. Hindi na makakabili ng mga insurances yung mga senior. Buti na lang, Nandiyan si Kaiser at gumawa sila ng senior care. Okay? 
So ito po yung mga healthcare, short-term healthcare at long-term care. Yung na-discuss natin kanina, yung 4-in-1, yan po ay long-term healthcare. Okay? And then additional information pa rin after sa healthcare is itong life insurance. Itong life insurance gusto natin dagdagan ng isang milyon yung coverage natin. Kasi in case may mangyari sa atin, kunin tayo ni Lord, we can leave our family with at least minimum 1 million additional. So, the cost is just 20,000 a year for 10 years. So, 20,000 a year for 10 years. After that, wala nang ibang iisipin. Lifetime coverage na yung isang million. Now, why do I do this? Why, why is it that there's an option? It's because gusto ko magkaroon peace of mind yung family ko. Gusto ko magkaroon peace of mind at gusto ko maalala ko ng family ko. Even if I am already gone from this world, gusto ko maalala nila ako even if yung mga anak at saka mga apo ko, maalala nila ako. Hindi ko hindi hindi uh, madaling malimutan yung parents o yung yung grandparents o yung parents na merong na ipamana sa kanila. Di ba? So yan yung talaga yung gusto natin na ma maalala tayo ng mga mahal sa buhay natin eh. So importante meron tayong maipamana sa kanila. And ito na yon. Ito na yon. Kasi ang mahal, ang expensive kung Bahay at lupa yung maipamana mo, expensive yun eh. You have to spend million-million para maipamana mo sa kanila, million-million din. Pag sinabi natin bahay at lupa. Pero ito, you don't have to spend million-million. Few thousands lang, pero yung naipamana natin, million-million. Okay? So option, option, ito yung option kung gusto natin, peace of mind for the family. Alright? So yan po yung insurance natin, no? yung Kasi yung memorial plan, hindi yun na, ma, magbabayad fully. Eh. Hindi yun, well, it will not take care of everything. Yung mga sinasabi natin na St. Peter, okay lang yun, pero St. Peter will not pay for the lapida. St. Peter will not pay for the snacks and the food during the, the, ano, the, the, the lamay. St. Peter will not pay for the down payment sa cemetery. Ah, diba? So kulang pa rin, nangailangan pa rin tayo ng extra funds to take care of that need. Especially sa repatriation. May mga friends tayo na sa malayo, yung pag-repatriate ng bangkay, mahal yun. Diba? So, importante, there is something that can take care of that. Okay?